all cops are presumed innocent until you watch this YouTube video and find them guilty. I ain't against them bad cops, but we are against them thugs. <laughs> I'm not against those bad cops. Like what? It doesn't make any sense. I hope you call me out. <laughs> That's awful. I ain't against bad cops, but we are against them against bad them good cops. Uh, yeah, right, I'm like, I ain't right, against we them. We are against them thugs. Them thug cops. Hate them. Thank you for saving me. Hopefully, don't <laughs> ever know that happened. I saw a cop sitting here. We're going to go see what he's doing. How come you're sitting on private property? I'm waiting on another officer to come. How come you guys don't meet up at a police station? That's not where we're going. Seems like officers normally have to have a warrant to be on private property, right? Do badges grant extra rights? No, absolutely not. So then, like, why would you do this? What's the difference between me pulling in and going in to perform business? Well, I'd hope you do it off duty on your own time. Well, what's the difference? You'd be on your own time. I'm performing a police function. But on private property. Normally, those have to be done with warrants. There seems to be, like, a double standard here. Or some sort of hypocrisy. What's you, your name? Can I, can I run it real quick? Door. We can search your vehicle now? No, you may not. How come? Do you have something to hide? Do you have some drugs in there? No, absolutely not. Here comes the other officer. So what are you guys up to? We're exchanging property. Property? What's that? Reports. I'm gonna go take care of my business. Community policing in my ass. He forsook the chains of his slave name. That'll most likely make it for sure. Oh, oh Jesus, <laughs> this is the best. <laughs> Look at the window. I can see you with your cats and your hands. Meow. Bam, bada, bam, bada, bam, bada, bam, bada. Thank bud in your news feed. <laughs> Meow. <laughs> <laughs> dude, this derailed so fast. God, I'm fucking See nuts, dude. Huh? I got a federal restraining order against me from getting on Michelin air aircraft tire property. That's from uh, labor picketing. I've won a few, lost a few. That's how it normally goes, right? Yep. It's what it's supposed to represent justice kind of messed up. Yeah, but then what the hell are they trying to say? Like, yeah, it's right there in between the police department and the uh, and the city paid for it. Like arts commission. Uh -huh. So you know they put a statue of a mayor or like the, <laughs> the usual symbols, an eagle, the blind justice lady. So, yeah, this is a little more like if you were to make it. Excuse me, sir. I like your identification, please. I'm just talking to you. I'm just curious as to why you're watching me. Not doing anything illegal. I'm the problem. That's why I was curious as to why you're watching me because I wasn't doing anything. Have an investigate. We, have a good day. we can go on. Oh, well, thank you, Master. These are we're gonna probably spend like 30 hours editing these videos up and they'll get like 1100 views, but they'll be like our favorites. This is a cute video. Get cute. Num -num -num. <laughs> what? I didn't react at all. <laughs> what the hell was going on there? I have no idea, but it stays. Can I get a ride? Thank you, thank you, thank you. What's going on? Police are chasing somebody. It's a drug bus. Somebody oh. ran. I know that they were out of Missouri. Damn. Yeah, it's the ATF. A Damon just got pulled over. What do you mean? I don't know. He said he went a mile down the road and got pulled over. Uh, why is the ATF here is a better question. KCK and the ATF? Something happened here. What's going on? What's going on, sir? This guy's ATF. I know. Shit. through where? Police are chasing somebody. Are you going that way? Fuck. This is how cop blockers get ready to cop block. They go to the closet and they pick out the favorite cop block sweatshirt. He's hunting an eye on you and stuff, and I will be offended the police because. Feel the police! Keeping lights, that's bright. Bright lights are required! No. I can't see shit! I wanna talk to Samson! Fly me to the moon! You ain't never talked to Samson. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm! My motherfucking face. New comes nice, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's here, I'll use it, man. You about ready? Should I bring a second camera for somebody just in case? Yeah, always. Even if we get one dropped or something. What's one thing we should ask cops tonight? We're only gonna ask them one question. Uh, how many cops have you arrested? All right. If they answer like three or like several, you ask them how many people they've arrested. <laughs> you know, like hundreds, thousands, you know? So you're telling me you've arrested several cops, but thousands of people. 
This episode of Cop Blockers is brought to you by the brave men and women of Cop Block. All Cop Blockers are presumed innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. What's up, Brian? Kansas City, Kansas. Kansas City, Missouri. Kansas City something. Where are we rolling out to? We're rolling out to go cruise. The locations we've been told are heavy with police traffic. Put the cops on the spot. Fuck these childish cops. They're fucking light games. Real mature, guys. Real mature. Yeah, what are we up to tonight? What's up? What are you up to tonight? It doesn't look like you're doing much, but I was just wondering what you were thinking you were doing. Guys, I have a minute to answer some questions. How many people have you arrested? How many cops have you arrested? Do you have a name and a badge number? Well, you had you no, the trunk open the whole time, probably killed the battery. You don't give a shit? That's fucking What a bullshit. jerk! You guys are assholes! Fuck! Do you have jumper cables? We'll what jump your car. I just pull it around in front of them. They, they left their hood open so long and searching the car, now their battery's dead. So we're giving a jump to these guys that just had their car stopped by the police. Cops were such assholes, they wouldn't stop and provide a jump. If these police were actually here to provide a service, don't you think like the simplest thing they could have done after clearing these people? See, there, there goes one of those pigs right now. Pig! Assholes! They could have easily gave these guys a jump and they chose not to. The police do not provide any legitimate services. We're just doing our jobs, you know? What did he stop you for? Because we had warrants underneath the attack. I see you guys got the cops on the run. What's all this all about? Well, we're filming the police. We use the cameras to create objective records so that the police can't lie or like falsify anything to create victims, whatever they do to put people in jail and extort money from them. Are you harassing these guys or something? Yeah, I guess like they said they had warrants, but like after we showed up, the cops didn't want to deal with it. Let him go. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Name and badge number? Name and badge number? Nope. nope. <laughs> Alright, don't think it's cool to Identify yourself to the public. Dick. Serve like put the other bank out of business. We're like this is what the old bank had, and like it's carrying on the tradition of banking. But like there's got to be in between the lines there, right? Like, oh, we're carrying on the tradition of banking when we took out our competitor, brought their leaves here, their fucking symbol and like put it out in front of your fucking place. That's I'll like, go past them, you stay on this side of it. Film the police. Yeah, where can I get one of those? Coplock.org. I'll give them a ride home if he needs a ride home. People that are victim to a domestic violence and the victim didn't go on the cop. They don't go on the jail. Do that make any sense? That makes sense? Fuck no, it don't make no sense. You don't have no victim at all. So this is just a waste of paper money. The victim will find, the victim call the cop. Even if there's just a claim that you had a disagreement with her, it doesn't seem like you were violent, so why are they taking you to jail? Well, fuck, man, you're taking me to jail. Just take me to jail, you know? Don't let me fucking stand out here. Right. I mean, if I'm going to jail, let's get it over. Yeah, exactly. Let's get there, man. I can get a bed and go to sleep. I know, yeah, you know, it's six hours after you get there before you get booked in. That's a good thing, bro. Thanks, man. This is a lot of motherfucking mishaps. Red, all that. Ain't nothing going on but the jail rent. Gotta pay those bills, stuff. I can walk. I understand. I can I understand. Well, if you understand, why are you grabbing you guys have a couple seconds to answer the questions? Uh, how many cops you've arrested? A couple. How many people have you arrested? Oh, I don't know. A lot. Have you been a cop in other cities? What about you, officer? How many police officers have you arrested? Police officers? Yeah. I have to say none. How many people have you arrested? Probably over 55. Over 55? 55 to zero. This episode of Cop Blockers is brought to you by the brave men and women of KCK Cop Block.